Greetings from Edu Aspirants, our YouTube channel to ace academics, competitions, entrance exams as also for enrichment of knowledge. In the series of videos on current affairs, let us see what we have for you in the 14th video which is for the second fortnight of July 2023. The first IIT campus outside India will be set up this year in, yes, Zanzibar in Tanzania. IIT Madras will set up the campus and handle academic programs, curricula and student selection aspects. It will be one of the three international campuses of the IITs with two others being opened in Abu Dhabi, that is in UAE, and Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Sagar. Yes, it is for security and growth for all in the region. And it is a maritime initiative of India that prioritizes the Indian Ocean region to ensure India's peace, stability and prosperity in the region. Sagar seeks to achieve a climate of trust and openness. International Moon Day, you must all be knowing. When is it celebrated? is celebrated on July 20 every year. Why? To mark the day when humans first landed on moon as part of NASA's Apollo 11 mission. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon on July 20, 1969. UN's General Assembly declared it as the international Moon Day. Michael Collins, test pilot and a major general in the US Air Force Reserve was the third astronaut but he did not land. Why? Because he was flying the Apollo 11 command module Columbia around the moon. The pair of Satvik Sairaj, Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty have created history by becoming the first ever Indian pair to win gold medal in men's doubles badminton where in the Korea Open they defeated Fajar Alfian and Mohammad Riyan Ardianto of Indonesia and this is the cup. What is juice jacking scam? Any idea? It occurs when fraudsters con people with help of charging ports in public places. It involves malware injection directly into the user's device while it charges, giving scammers control over the victim's device. The malicious software or hardware can start harvesting sensitive data from the connected device. If you have been reading current affairs from other sources also, you must be knowing that Reserve Bank of India also gave input on being safe from this. Yug Yugin Bharat and what is this? It is the largest museum in the world soon to be built in Delhi. The museum will have eight thematic segments telling the story of India spanning over 5,000 years. It will have ancient Indian knowledge, ancient to medieval, medieval, medieval to transition period, colonial rule, the freedom struggle in modern India and the 100 years from independence 1947. It will cover an area of 1.17 lakh square meters and have 950 rooms, basement and three stories. IIT Madras incubated space startup Galaxi will launch the world's first multi-sensor satellite called 
drishti it will be able to observe earth during the day as well as during the night and this is for the first time the current sensors are unable to observe the earth in the absence of sunlight or if there is a cloud cover the international tiger day is observed on 30th july every year madhya pradesh has the largest tiger population of 785 in the country it is followed by karnataka 563 uttarakhand 560 and maharashtra 444 the tiger population has significantly grown in india it is 3682 tigers as on july 2023 Oppenheimer we are all hearing it being a film Julius Robert Oppenheimer you see him here was an american theoretical physicist and director of the manhattan project's los alamos laboratory during world war 2 he is remembered as the father of the atomic bomb and because of him the first atomic bomb was dropped at Nagashika and then Hiroshima. This brings us to the end of this video on current affairs for the second fortnight of July 2023. Please keep revising because you'll have questions in your forthcoming exams from this video also. Please do subscribe, like, share, and press the bell icon for updates.